And that's a honky tonk truth. That's a honky tonk truth. Cross my broken heart. Good morning, Vietnam. Not really. I've always wanted to say that. What's going on, YouTube? I've been asked by that autograph dude some autograph related questions. That autograph dude, better known as Stacy Schaefer. So uh, let's get started here. First question he asks is, what is your first TTM or your first autograph? And I can answer both of those. This is a Joe Horn baseball. A lot of the New Orleans Saints players were at a Mobile Vapors game one time in about, I think it was 2003 when I was younger. I caught a foul ball there. And Joe Horn was one of my favorite Saints, still one of my all-time favorite Saints. And I got him signed on a baseball. So that's the first autograph I can remember getting. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I had it signed in Sharpie. That's the only mistake. But uh, otherwise, very cool. Also, first TTM. That video is still available on YouTube to this day. Mr. Bobby Doerr. He was the first guy, second guy I ever wrote to. First guy I got rejected. We're not going to talk about that, though. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I always thought it was cool that a Hall of Famer signed TTM. He was the first one I got. Really got me into this hobby. And I, you know, always been excited. I will never sell this because it was my first TTM. I was always, I remember being excited when I first opened it up, uh, the envelope, and yeah, so that's my, my first TTM, Mr. Bobby Door. Moving on, next question, I don't even remember. Oh, how many autographs are in your collection, your best guess? It's going to have to be a best guess, because I don't know, I will say 250, because I got multiple signed items, I got, I got items everywhere. 250 is a fair guess, I don't know if that's even close, I need to get this back. Next question. Describe yourself as a collector in one sentence. And I say that sentence is going to have to be that I'm very persistent and I will do whatever it takes to get an autograph. I avoided at events in the rain to get an autograph from a person. I avoided at book signings and autograph signings for an hour. You know, I've paid a lot of money, a little more than I wanted to pay on eBay and at stores for autographs. I will do whatever it takes if there is an autograph that I truly want, I will go for it. And a story I have, I met Tony Stewart, who did a free signing at one of the local Home Depots here, back when he had the Home Depot sponsorship, now he's Old Spice. And uh, my dad and I, we waited for a while to get a wristband to get you into the signing, because it was free, all you had to have was the wristband. And uh, my dad wanted to leave, and I was like, no, we gotta stay. And we stayed about 10 minutes after he said that, they gave out the wristbands, and he's so happy that I was stubborn, and I was persistent and because I got to meet Tony Stewart and that was very cool. Moving on. And you'll notice I'm going quick. I did this and the last take took me 20 minutes. I, I, I know you guys don't want to hear me talking for 20 minutes. Proudest moments in the hobby and your biggest disappointment. It, proudest moment, nothing specific, but it's always getting an autograph that you know you think you're never going to get and you end up getting it. I met the governor had a local minor league baseball game here this summer and uh, you know I never thought I was gonna meet, get a chance to meet the governor and get his autograph and I thought you know approaching him I thought I was gonna get ta tackled by his security but I didn't he was a very nice man his security people are one of the people that ended up taking the photo of us and you know he was very nice talked to us asked me some questions and uh, yeah so that was a very cool moment meeting the governor also, this year, I've gotten some autographs sent out to people whose autograph I never thought I was going to get. I found their address on pages such as, uh, websites such as White Pages. Here's Alan Menken. Whoops. It's okay. It didn't get damaged. It's okay. Alan Menken, he's the composer known for writing all those Disney songs that you probably know. Uh, that's not supposed to be in there. Philippe Petit got that uh, yesterday, I think it was. Uh, he's the guy that strung a tightrope over the World Trade Center in the 70s and walked across it. Walked across it, not walked across. Yeah, so I found his address on White Pages. Ended up getting him back, to my surprise, because I never thought I was going to get him back. Hans Zimmer, well-known modern-day composer. Uh, Steve Jason, he is the chef at Universal Studios Orlando and Vincent Butterbeer. So yeah, just getting that autograph that you think you're never going to get, that is just a proud moment for me. Disappointment. I was out at the Wahoos game this summer, and Bubba Watson came to throw out the first pitch. He is from the uh, around the area. He won the Masters this year. To my surprise, I am stunned, and I got to watch that happen on TV. And I thought that was very cool. I've been following him for a while, 
because the local sports page will always talk about him when he's in a tournament. And uh, my buddy Cubs141 got him at the Wahoos game because we were told he was not going to sign autographs. I think that was security saying that, not him. I think he would have signed, but he didn't. But we kind of approached Bubba after he threw out the first pitch. He was walking uh, through a tunnel back, I think, to the exit. And uh, Cubs win 41 got him, but I didn't get him. Security pushed me away, which is amazing because I couldn't get Bubba Watson, the golfer. But I got the governor who has his own little secret service and who had the local police. This is this was just security out at the ballpark. I'm still amazed by that. Very disappointed, too, because uh, I've always wanted Bubba Watson's autograph. And, yeah, it didn't happen. What do you consider the top three autographs in your collection? Tough one. Very tough question. I thought long and hard about this one. I've narrowed it down to three with two honorable mentions. Honorable mention one. A card that in recent, probably the last three weeks, has gained skyrocketed in value. Top triple, triple threads. Miguel Cabrera autograph patch number two. Three of nine. He won the triple crown, which is amazing. The Detroit... Tigers are going to the World Series, swept the Yankees. He's probably going to win uh, MVP of the American League. So that card skyrocketed in value recently. Honorable mention. Honorable mention, too, you guys know. I met President Carter a couple weeks ago. Uh, and uh, I met his. I got a picture with him. I got a picture with his wife, Mrs. Rosalind Carter. I got a book signed by him. Got a book signed by Miss Rosalind. I also got White House Diary. This is a memoir he wrote. There he is on the back there. And uh, I had both of them sign it, so that's pretty cool. First Lady President. So if that didn't make it, what's the top three? Here you go. Number three. A record signed by, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Conway Twitty. If you watch Family Guy, you'll get that one. A very prominent country singer. My grandmother gave me this because I collect records. I have a record player over there. And uh, she gave me this one, and she said there was a signature on it. And at first I thought this was printed on as a design, but I looked into it. And this record, you know, it doesn't have that there. That's an actual signature. And I asked her how she got this, and she said she didn't know because she never met him. And, you know, you'd remember something like that. She did see him in concert, though. And she thinks they were selling these at a concert, and she bought them. And I found a signed record on eBay, signed by Conway. And the person in the description said exactly... Something that matched how my grandmother said she would get it. They said Conway signed them at the concert, and they turned them back and sold them like at a booth. So that's probably what how she got that. But that's pretty cool because I'm a big country music fan. I like Conway, and he is a big name in the history of country music. Number two, Stacy. To my amazement, I did not know this has a signed book by this guy. This is my favorite author of all time. I'm big into the, the uh, Jurassic Park series. This is Michael Crichton. He is sadly no longer with us. But I got this on eBay for a very good price. This is a first day cover for those of you not familiar. It's a a stamp. This is a stamp of a well-known sci-fi director. And uh, this is a stamp. The first day it was issued was uh, 1975 Beverly Hills. They go to the post office and they'll stamp that. And uh, yeah, the person had Michael Crichton signed that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome because he's my favorite author. So that's number two. And number one is this one not really we'll get to this one in a second this was given to me by my grandmother for christmas through a credit card rewards program this is a 16 by 20 signed by mr calvin ripkin jr one of my favorite baseball players of all time played for the orioles shortstop played in the most consecutive games 21 31 hall of fame class of 2007 all around great guy too and it doesn't get much better than this. It's a 16 by 20, beautifully signed in, uh, not gold, silver Sharpie up here. It's a cool photo, probably his greatest achievement in baseball. Nicely framed, nicely matted with the Oriole colors. Uh, MLB uh, autograph, that's the little sticker down here. MLB autograph authentication. Also have a sticker from Ironclad, a reputable autograph dealer. Have a COA over here, too. <coughs> Sorry guys, I've been sick lately. My voice, I know it probably sounds different and hoarse. But yeah, so that's number one. Does not get much better than that. Moving on, next question. Who's your autograph white whale? No matter how hard you try, they always elude you. And to me, I got two. 
Randy Newman, the composer, who Stacy has. I'm amazed. Stacy has a Randy Newman autograph. I wrote to him earlier this year in about January. Still haven't heard back. What's going on, Mr. Newman? Number two, camera decided to cut off there. No big deal. Number two is Robert Ballard, who is the, uh, the guy that found the Titanic wreckage. I have emailed him twice. I've sent him one actual through the mail uh, request, and still here I am. Have not heard back. So, what's going on, Mr. Ballard? Come on, get back to me. Any signs for other people? Same with Randy Newman, but not me. <laughs> Who's your dirty little secret autograph? The one you don't tell a lot of people you own. Joan Rivers. I like her older work. She is a, uh, for those of you that don't know who Joan Rivers is, if you don't, she's a well known female comedian. She was on the Johnny Carson show a lot back in the day. On YouTube, you can find clips of that. She's a very funny lady. But in recent years, she's just gone crazy. She's got the face and, you know, the surgeries. And Melissa, I hate Melissa. That's her daughter. And she's got the the voice as she has gotten older, has gotten more annoying. And But I have gained respect for her because her assistant, I emailed one of her assistants or something along the lines and ended up getting this back. And she wrote a nice little inscription to Ryan. Thank you for your nice note. Good luck, Joan Rivers. So, yeah, I've gained some respect for her back. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't advertise. I have this a lot. Because she's crazy. Okay. What are your ultimate collecting goals? And my goal, I would like a room to display all this. Uh, Zane Savage has a very nice room that he films his videos in. And that's what I want. If you guys have seen his videos, you know what I'm talking about. He's got stuff framed on the walls, you know, where he can take someone down and show off his stuff. He's got a bookshelf for all his signed books. I want something very similar, and I hope to achieve that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. When I get out on my own one day, just to have my own little room to display all this. Because my bedroom, very small, and, you know, I just I have to kind of, you know, cramp all the autographs on a shelf, and it's, they're really hard to display. And the final question, get your plugs in. Well, obviously, you're watching me on YouTube, so if you're not subscribed to me, why don't you do that below or above, wherever the button is. I'm Ryan on YouTube. Uh, I am Ryan Michael Moberly. You can find me there through my full name on Facebook. I'll be happy to uh, accept your request. Twitter, I am Mobes, M-O-B-E-S, 333, 333, on Twitter. Um... Uh, oh, on Facebook. I don't have an actual website, but on Facebook I have an autograph page, the Through the Mails of Mobes. You spell that M-O-B-E-S. And uh, yeah, that's so that's kind of my website. I also post on Sports Card Forum if you want to check me out there. And that'll do it for me, guys. All right. And if you are not, please subscribe to that autograph dude, Stacy Schaefer. And uh, that'll do it for me. I'm going to be out of town this weekend, but I will see you guys back, post some videos on Monday. So I will see you then. <gasps> I forgot a question. Well, let's get to that. Your three most wanted autographs. Number one, Elvis Presley. Prominent American. I think one of the greatest Americans ever to walk the earth. Great singer, prominent singer. Everyone knows who Elvis is, so that's number one. Number two is Walt Disney. I love Disney. Not much more of an explanation there. Plus his autograph is cool. You know, it's got that funky D in the W. That's actually how he signs his name. And number three would be the famous director, Steven Spielberg, as I love his work. Love his movies, Jaws, Jurassic Park, E.T., yet da 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 Very prominent director, though. I would actually like to meet him and get his autograph. Even if he signed TTM authentically, I would still rather meet him and get his autograph, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Now that'll do it for me. Sorry, guys, I forgot that question. And, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.